back to my channel. Today we will be working on this tutorial for you guys. Hopefully you enjoy it. If this is something you're interested in, please stay tuned. So seriously, this is not the first time I'm trying to film this video for you guys. Uh, this is my second attempt. The first one was a big time fail. Um, all because I used a product that everybody is raving about, which is Nivea Shea Balm. And I felt like glue on my face and the whole entire makeup was very blotchy and very unreal like it really did not look good at all so um, the only thing that I can think about is because this was my second time to uh, using this particular product so I think this product is not for me uh, if you personally like it, enjoy it, then maybe it's for you, but for me personally, I do not like this product and I will probably will be passing this on to my husband. I'm sure he can probably get the most use out of it. I'm going to go ahead and hide my flaws, as always, using a darker tone concealer. And I'm going to go ahead and apply... Do you see how long it has been? I have not done a makeup video or actually not done makeup at all. Uh, you know the drill. Let's moisturize first. Okay, after you're done applying your moisturizer, make sure you grab your choice of primer. And I'm going to go ahead and take Sephora. This is an illuminating primer. And I'm going to go ahead and apply that pretty much all over my face because I want that dewy look. Now is the time to go ahead and hide them flaws. So I'm going to go ahead and take my The Balm Cosmetics Medium Concealer and I'm going to go ahead and take that on to BH Cosmetics Small Angled Brush. It comes in a set if you're interested in it. I really like this. These brushes have actually lasted me a little more than what I was expecting them to be and I'm actually, some of the brushes from this collection are actually my very favorite brushes and I'm particularly very picky about them as to what I use them for so I really really like them. I, you definitely don't need to do this step I like to uh, do this step because this is these are my problem areas that are really kind of pretty much if I can I would like to take care of them and right now this is the cheapest way I can take care of them you know so I'm gonna go ahead and do this step I'm happy with them when I am at home but I want to look a little bit more happy and jolly when I go out so another thing that I was trying in my video number one that didn't work out was a B uh, this is the Ulta Beauty sponge and it is I don't know I'm gonna go ahead and try it again maybe because of the shave balm it didn't work quite well I'm not quite feeling it. I mean, maybe because it's not. It does get the job done. Definitely better than a brush, I would say, because it is harder to uh, blend with the brushes. So yeah, uh, but I personally think my beauty blender is still the king, so. So for the foundation, I'm going to go ahead and take my MAC Face and Body number C3. This is a bit lighter than my skin, so I'm going to go ahead and mix L'Oreal True Match and 7 to it. I really like this uh, palette, you guys. I think it's awesome. None of the product get wasted, seriously, and you don't have to clean it right away. You can go and clean it as you go, right? And a little extra around my lip area because that is I want the most coverage. All right, let's go in, try, give this one more time a try and see how it goes. Definitely blending it really well. So maybe if you are a first time um, user for a sponge, this probably will work for you unless you have been spoiled by Beauty Blender already because it's still dense, it's not as soft and comfortable like beauty blender so it's hard to ignore the fact that this is more of a dense uh, sponge oh, 
My hand is actually tired though because it is so hard. So basically, I feel like the sponge is not doing the job as much as my hand is. That is awesome. So I actually like the sponge. I wish it was a bit more softer. I think I would have definitely um, loved it, but I think this is probably going to be my backup that is in case if any of my beauty blenders dirty, then maybe I'll you know grab this um, this is definitely better than some of the other sponges I've tried so if you guys are interested in a dupe for the um, beauty blender uh, I would definitely suggest this although the real technique sponge is a lot better than this go figure I'm gonna go ahead and highlight my under eyes and I'm gonna go ahead and use that using creamy beige by LA girl cosmetics my foundation is a tone darker I guess I went a little too crazy with that tan stuff I'm gonna go ahead and just highlight Okay, I also see that it is kind of hard to go all the way into your inner corner of your eye to set that concealer or to blend that concealer. Like even the point is not working for me. I still see the darkness into the inner corner of my eye. I'm going to take my Laura Mercier powder. I'm going to take my Aspen powder and I'm just going to go ahead and take that onto the Morphe brush and actually let that cook. That's also going to guide me later where exactly and uh, how to contour. Some of you guys, this is gonna be a crazy step because you're like, oh, that's a lot of powder. But I do tend to get oily around the summertime and I definitely love heavy coverage, so what the heck. Uh, you definitely don't have to do this. You can just go ahead and apply the powder that is your skin tone. I'm gonna go ahead and first off set my full face, then go with my skin tone powder and so on and so forth. So I'm just gonna roughly dab this. Next step is to take a foundation powder that is your skin tone and I'm going to go ahead and take this one is of course the lid had to break right uh, just my luck sun beige by L'Oreal true match and I'm going to go ahead and apply pretty much wherever the bronzer is going to go I find this technique very useful and very smart because I feel like when you are doing your eye makeup and you have that transition shade to blend everything well and make it all look even and flawless, I feel like this very same technique works perfect with the bronze, bronzer, with the bronze, with the bronzer and contour. For the bronzer, I'm going to go ahead and take my MAC Mineralize Skin Finish Dark powder and it is very very pretty and I'm gonna go ahead and take that onto my angled uh, this is called large angled contour f40 brush by Sigma Beauty this is very very natural you don't have to have a bronzer you definitely can opt in for a darker colored powder For the contour, I'm going to go ahead and take my NYX Cosmetics uh, Contour Palette. This first and second shade right here, lightly dust that onto the contour area, which is the middle of your cheek, where the bone ends. See the difference? Just very nicely. I love that. Just love it. Okay, whatever's left on brush, I'm just going to go ahead and take that on my forehead and a little bit onto the nose. This is where I'll take the BH Cosmetics fluffy brush and I'm going to go ahead and take the first color from the NYX contour palette, tap off the excess, and I'm just going to go ahead and contour the center. Now you see I'm holding the brush all the way back and that is actually going to make it a very softer looking contour. 
I'm now going to go ahead and take, this one is the Lorac brush, and I'm going to go ahead and take the yellow powder that's in this palette, very lightly, and I'm going to go ahead and apply that onto the center. I know it's still too white. We're going to take care of that. I'm going to go ahead and apply this uh, under my eyes as well to kind of pretty much give them a little bit of brightening and life. And take that as close as you can to kind of skinnyfy that nose. Back with the angled brush and I'm going to take the same contour shades and actually contour the jawbone area as well. Take a stippling brush and pretty much go over all of the areas except for the deep contour. You don't want to lighten that up. And this will take any excess product off, blend things together, make it look nice. And don't forget the nose contour, you definitely want to. All right, let's go ahead and clean that nose now. So I'm then going to take the Global Glow by MAC Cosmetics. This is the very pretty, bronzy, sunny highlighter, and I'm going to go ahead and apply. So I really feel like my under eye does not feel so awake. So I'm going to go ahead and take my fan brush. I'm going to go with the Hourglass um, palette and pretty much Mix the two lightest shades together and apply that. Oh, Shazam. Hello. Yes, I'm pretty satisfied with that one. I think I'm really digging the way this look is coming. Let's go ahead and get started with the next step. And next step is to do our pretty eyes. I'm going to take my NYX Cosmetics Eyeshadow Base in Skin Tone. Also, let me know what you guys think if I were to go on Snapchat for you guys. And pretty much, even though I'm not making a video or anything, but you guys are still in touch with me, so kind of see me in pajamas and doing things around the house with kids and stuff like that. See if you want to get to know me even more then do, go ahead and leave any comments. I always, always love to set my eyeshadow base before I do anything. So I'm gonna go ahead and take my Shade and Light by Kat Von Nee palette. I'm gonna go ahead and take the lightest color from it and just dab that before it's starting to crease, which it's already happening. So let's go ahead and get that going. It also will make my job a lot more easier and make all the blending a lot more uh, better. Okay, while I'm at it, I'm going to go ahead and do, use this matte shade for my highlight as well. The next step is to take your Morphe E23 or any blending brush. And I'm going to go ahead and take the color right here, which is orange skin tone, transition color, whatever you want to call it, and apply that into the crease. I don't know why, but I was thinking my this battery is charged, but none of my batteries are charged. So hopefully I get to film this. I'm just going to go ahead and apply the transition shade and kind of feather it outwards. Give it a wing effect. For the lid, I'm going to go ahead and take the color called Samuel. It is a very nice kind of khaki tone matte shadow. And I'm going to apply that into the inner corner and inner half of my lid for the outer corner I'm gonna go ahead and take this Smashbox brush and I'm gonna go ahead and just apply the color called luscious I believe it's called it is a red brown color earthy tone and I'm just gonna go ahead and apply this to the outer corner and kind of blend it all together I'm 
back with the fluffy brush. Make sure everything is blended nice and smooth. I'm gonna go ahead and take the same color onto my lower lash line as well. Brown earthy color. Blend it together. Go ahead and apply your liner or your uh, falsies. I'm going to go ahead and do my NYC liquid liner. Welcome back, I guess. I am so sorry. Both of my batteries are dead. I have not filmed in so long that I seriously lost track as to if they were even, you know, charged or not. At least one always is so I can, you know, have one filming and then the other one on charge while I'm in the room. But unfortunately, that was not the case. So what I went ahead and did was that... You saw everything else on the lips. I'm wearing NYX Liquid Sued in number three. Absolutely gorgeous color. This is probably the first time I'm applying this and it's really making this look come together with the eyes. I didn't know that this is the lip color I was gonna go with and that is why I chose to do something very classic natural eyes. And what I ended up doing although is that I took the darker brown color which is called, hate this font. Uh, but it's called Citri, I believe, which is this brown color right here. I went ahead and take that onto the Sigma Blending E25 brush and applied that just to the outer corner of my eyes to kind of give it a little bit more of a drama and smoky effect to it. And on the lower lash line, I went with a small brush like this one and applied a little bit of black eyeshadow from the very same palette along my lower lash line. And that also kind of finished the look and applied a Palladio white eyeliner into my waterline. For the blue that you see, my lower lash line towards my inner corner is actually Crown Brushes Electric Sky Waterproof Eyeliner Pencil, Eyebrow Pencil, this color? Huh, okay. Uh, eyeliner Pencil and apply that into the inner corner and then for the uh, inner corner shimmer, I went with the Shima Shima by Makeup Geek Cosmetics. I have not touched those shadows in so long. Hopefully it will be filming something with them together again but I'm really happy the way it turned out I really do apologize the lashes I'm wearing by Vegas Nail Collection from Allure Lashes hopefully this answers all of your questions and of course liner I forgot about liner I am wearing my all-time favorite NYC liquid liner in jet black so this is it for you guys I hope you learned something from this tutorial if you have any questions suggestions leave them down in the comment box below I'd really love to know from each and every one of you that what you like and what you want to see next and I really appreciate everybody who comments down and for me as to what you like what you don't like about my video so it, that actually just makes me a better person better makeup artist and don't forget to subscribe hopefully you enjoyed it and I will definitely see you guys in next video Bye-bye.